continuing writing equation of straight line. I've got a graph here passing through 5 comma 17 and 10 comma 32. Now this is not drawn to scale. So this point, this is 5 comma 17 and this is 10 comma 32. Now before we uh, find the gradient and intercept, I would like to, this point corresponds to 17. So this is 17 on the y-axis. And for phi, so this point is phi. So here this is phi comma 17. And this is, this is 10. And this point is somewhere here. This is 23 or 32, sorry. This is 32. So it's always right, good to write these two numbers so that you know what's the rise and what's the run. So as we as I discussed in the last video, the gradient equation of any line is given by this formula, which is called gradient intercept formula, where mx, m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. So m is rise over run. So always good to write the formula. So what gradient is rise over run. And as a practice, I like to draw the uh, join these two points by a right angle triangle. And always stop and think what you're doing. So this is your rise. So this is your rise and this is your run. Okay, one more thing uh, as I discussed in my previous video. When you're looking at a line, you, you should have a sense of the gradient. A sense in the sense, uh, sense in the sense, which means uh, the gradient from, when you're looking at the line, you're look, always looking from left to right. From left to right, this line is going up. This is your left, I hope you know left and right. This is your left and this is your right. From left to right, from left to right, the line is going up, so it has got a positive gradient. So your rise is from 17 to 32. So rise is 17 to 32. So that is, if suppose if you're not, my brain is not working now. So 17 minus 32 is your rise. And your run is, you're running from 5 to, you're running from 5 to 10. So your run is 10 minus 5. Okay, so say 13, uh, 32 take away 12 is 20 and then 5. So this is 15 over 5. Am I right? Okay, so it's always good to check. So 32 minus 17. It's 15. Yeah, my brain is working. And 10. So your rise from 17, you're rising to 32. So you're risen 15 up. Okay, and as it's up, it's positive. And you're running to the right. You're running from 5 to 10. So if your rise if your rise is up, it's positive. And if your run is right, it's positive. So your gradient is in this case three. Fifteen over phi is three. So now we can put this value three in this equation. So we can say y is equal to three x plus three x plus c. Now, by just looking at the y-intercept, I have a sense it should be somewhere over, over 1. Okay, so I can't estimate how much it is. So now to find c, I'm going to put this value or this point in this equation. So how do you do that? I put x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 15, 17 in this equation because this point is on the line. So this number should satisfy the equation. So we, I'm saying that when y is 17, x is 5. So let me put 17 uh, as y. So 17 is equal to 3 times your x is 5 plus c. So 17 is 15 plus c. So use your logic. This implies your c has to be 2. So your C is 2 here. So your equation is, so let me change color. The equation has to be Y is equal to 3X plus 2. 
Okay, so let's always, it's always good practice to check whether what you've done is right or wrong. So let's check without the calculator. So let's put phi there, phi in this equation, 3 times phi is 12 plus 3 times phi is not 12, 3 times phi is 15 plus 2 is 17. And 3 times 10 is 30 plus 2 is 32. So all, both these points are right. And when you put this point, this point is 0, 2. This point, your y-intercept is 0, 2. So if you put 0 here, 3 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2. So I'll also check that on a calculator. Go to table menu and type in the equation that you've got, which is 3x plus 2, okay? And I'll go from 0 to, say, what was the what was the number? 0 to 10. I'll go from 0 to 10, step of 1, okay? So when x is 0, y is 2, okay? When x is 5, 17. So phi 17. So if you scroll down, phi 17 and 10 is 32. Okay, so let us do one more. So here, again, I'll do it faster here. So m is your rise over run and your c. So let me join by right angle triangle. So this is your rise and this is your run. So as I told you in the last video, can you tell what is the gradient? Is it positive or negative? From left to right, what's happening? Is it going up or down? From left to right, it's going down. So it has to have a negative gradient. So this is this is what how, what number would you write here? So this point is three comma six. So this is six, and this is three. Okay, and this point is five comma two. So if this is five. This is 2. Okay, so your gradient is rise over run. So your rise is down, you're rising down, that means you're going down. So your gradient is, your rise is negative. From 6, you're going down to 2. So your, your rise is negative 4, and your run is from 3 to 3 to 5. Your run is positive. Your rise is negative. So 3 to 5, your run is 2. So gradient is negative 2. So we not, now need to find what is C. So your equation is Y is equal to MX plus C. So Y is equal to negative 2X plus C. I'm going to put this or this in this. So I'm going to put, I'm going to choose this. So what does this tell me? When x is phi, when x is phi, y is equal to 2. When x is phi, y is equal to 2. You should have a sense it, the gradient has to be uh, over 6. Okay, that's a very rough estimate. So I'm going to put y is 2. So 2 is equal to negative 2 times negative 2 times what? phi plus c. Okay, so 2 is equal to negative 10 plus c. Okay, so I'm going to add 10 to both sides. So 12 is equal to c. Okay, so your equation is y is equal to uh, negative 2x plus 12. Okay, so you can check that yourself. So let us Check it by the two points that we have. Negative 2 times 5 is 10. Negative 10 plus 12 is 2. And uh, when x is uh, 3, neg uh, negative 6 plus 12 is 6. Negative 6 plus 12 is 6. So both these points are right. Okay. And finally, this point. So what's the gradient okay so your gradient so this point this is this is negative one one so this is one sorry sorry this is negative one this is one okay so this point is one so this is one this is one and this is negative five 
okay so what's your gradient again your this is going down so gradient is your rise so let me write rise over run okay your rise is from one so it's always good to draw a triangle so this is your rise and this is your run okay so what's your rise your rise is down and your run is to the right so you're rising from one to negative five one to negative five your run rises negative six and your run is from negative one to one so that is three so that is negative six over three one no sorry this is your one two sorry your right run is only two not three so your run is so you can also count the squares it's drawn to scale one two three four five six one two so your gradient is negative three so the equation is y is equal to equation of a line again let me write it's always good to write the formula mx plus c which is minus 3x plus c so i'm going to put let me choose this you can choose either this or this so this point tells me when x is 1 x is 1 y is negative 5 so let us put this in this equation so negative 5 is equal to negative 3 times 1 plus c so negative 5 is equal to negative 3 plus c so i'm going to add 3 to both sides so if you add 3 to this side it add 3 to this side okay so this and this gets cancelled c is equal to negative 2 and it does make sense so this is seems to be negative 2 your y intercept is negative 2 so your equation is y is equal to minus 3x minus 2 and that's how you write equation of any line